It's, it's very important to bolster higher agricultural education uh, because uh, in this globalized world where technology is becoming a very, very, it's really very important now, everything is based on a knowledge-based economy. So everyone has to be able to understand what is happening elsewhere and how best to use technology to solve problems. So higher education enables people to do that, uh, to change, to benefit, to leverage uh, technology and make a difference. So in order to develop Africa, we need a well-informed and well-trained cadre that will drive innovations, design research agenda, mobilize communities, and ensure that the innovations and interventions that are being deployed for development are deployed effectively. So cost-effectiveness issues uh, and efficiency issues will require uh, a solid human resource. And there is demonstrated evidence that in order for you to have development, you need uh, this kind of uh, innovators uh, that will drive development processes. Yes, I, I, I wouldn't use the word revolution directly. I'll be, I'll be a little bit more conservative, but it is close to that because Ruforum is the first mechanism, I, not the first, but it's one of the existing mechanisms I know of today in Africa where universities can share knowledge, they can share staff, can share students, and more importantly, be more forward-looking, engaging in research, in development, in outreach, and informing the policies of the organizations. So in that way, it is the mechanism among the other university networks in the continent, allowing higher education, particularly postgraduate education, which is where the research frontier is, to begin to bear on the velocity and direction of Africa's development. Well, higher education and capacity building is critical because um, if you look at um, agricultural development or transformation as as a system that needs to really renew itself because transformation is about actually looking into the future. Ed higher education should provide that system with its renewal. And, and so we say that education is actually the DNA for agricultural transformation in Africa. We need to have uh, Africa's own capacity to be able to implement these successes and even more to scale. So I find capacity as integral to Africa's development, that if Africa cannot build its own innovative capacity, then we will be kidding ourselves uh, when we talk about um, transformation or agricultural development. We are passionate about capacity building in higher education in agriculture because we believe for Africa to develop, we need people who have mass, uh, MSCs and PhD who think at a higher level, who can build more capacity. So it's really capacity building for capacity building and it's also developing thinkers for the continent who can pull us out of the situation that we are as Africa.